Hey everybody, it's Boys with the Most Toys coming at you again, and today we're here with one of my guilty pleasures, and that is CCBS Custom Construction Figures, and this, of course, is The Mandalorian from the new Disney Plus series. So if you've got that channel, um, or that subscribe to the um, streaming service that Disney just put out, I'm not going to give you any spoilers here. I've seen a bit of them. I don't. I have not subscribed yet to Disney Plus because if I do, my daughter will be commandeering my very large TV to watch Disney movies all the time, and I won't get to watch anything. So um, I have not. <laughs> got Disney Plus yet. I'm sure it's just a matter of time, but I did see some of the episodes of The Mandalorian, specifically the first and second one, and I was actually um, really giggly with the second one, but I'm not going to get into why. Um, so I'm not going to do any spoilers here if you don't have not seen it yet, but it is cool from what I've seen so far, and it makes it feel like a, a Western or how Star Wars used to be before they kind of made it into the social justice warrior stuff of today so it has a really cool feel to it um and i uh, hope you uh, if you've watched it you've enjoyed it and if you haven't watched it yet maybe check it out um so the mandalorian here he still doesn't have a name yet so far in what i've seen but he's a mandalorian well at least he wears mandalorian armor maybe he's not a mandalorian who knows you have to watch the show and figure that out i guess they'll tell us at one point so he is all armored up in his color scheme is um, basically slightly different than the TV show, I think, but basically it's browns, it's beiges, and it's kind of uh, dark reds and grays. So this is my my cut at it, of course. You can see here he's got some weapons on his bandolier there. He's got some ammo there. He has his pistol on his sidearm, just like on the show. He can take off his chest plate, just like on the show. Um, and, of course, on the back he has his giant rifle and we'll talk about that later um, and if you haven't uh, seen the show yet or if you know the history on the rifle I won't give away much but um, if you remember if you're old enough or you can YouTube it the worst Star Wars creation ever I guess people said the Star Wars Christmas special that came after the original Star Wars and um, yeah I was around to see that originally and it was weird then it's even weirder now when you watch it on YouTube but anyway so Boba Fett was introduced in that special and he had a very similar uh, rifle so I think that's why they've paid homage in the Mandalorian to that rifle so here he is I'm not gonna go into all the details but he is more or less all ball jointed so you can do what you want with him for poses and I'm just gonna go and show you some of the accessories that I have put into this guy so you can take off his pistol which pegs into the side. You can put that in his hand, of course. Okay, you can do that. He can, he can shoot uh, people with that quick draw, whatever. And then I'm going to show you. Actually, the helmet, too, guys, is all brick built because you know I didn't want to just paint a Boba Fett construction construction figure or Django Fett. So your rifle. Look at this baby. It is designed to kind of mimic the one from the show. It's not exactly to detail, but based on the pieces, and I want to use a Bionicle piece here, because, of course, that's a Bionicle build. So we can hold that big rifle and do untold damage with that as well. Sticks on his back quite nicely, has a nice cape here. The parts come from different sets. Um, I don't even know which, which sets I've got them from over the years from my bulk bin, but I know some of the core pieces here come from um, the, uh, which one is it? Uh, from um, Captain Phasma. So the chest plate and the, some of the silver pieces, of course come from her and then other pieces are from things I've collected over the years because I have bins and bins of this stuff that's why I like making customs so just for a size comparison he is standard standard size to compare him to my custom um, Tatooine Stormtrooper commander they're the same same height so all in all I hope you like this cool classic creation not classic it's brand new this cool custom Mandalorian creation and let's just take a 360 view for you guys we'll just flip them around and around and around and around and around and bring them forward okay 
So, hope this inspires you to build your own custom crazy creations out of Lego, whether they be CBS or System or some combination of the both. Until next time, everyone, happy building. Check out The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. They're not telling me to tell you that, but it, it does look cool from what I've seen so far. Um, and that's all. So happy building, everyone. Happy Star Wars building. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.